Another round for you, Bill? Sure, why not? Ever since they started letting us drink again, I just can't say no. So, has the old sad sack been in tonight? Not yet, but it's coming up on nine. He should be here any minute. You know, he may be a real son of a bitch, but I can't help but feel sorry for him. Well, I don't. Plenty of people are hurting these days. A whole bunch are way worse off than him. I'll take those poor folks in the Dust Bowl, for example. Anyway, just because he used to be a real estate big shot doesn't give him the excuse to be disagreeable. But hey, as long as he pays and keeps to himself, I have no quarrel with him. Maybe I can get him going tonight and see if we can finally find out if he was really working for the mob. Well, speak of the devil. Good evening, Mr. Banks. What'll it be tonight? Whiskey. And keep them coming. Yes, sir. Will this be on your tab? It is every other night. Why should tonight be any different? Here you are, sir. Say, you got a light, pal? Thanks, buddy. Have I got horns coming out of my forehead or something? No, sir. Then why are you staring at me like I do? You used to work in real estate, didn't you? Yeah, so? What of it? So, I'm curious about what it was like to be right in the middle of the land boom. But really, I'm more curious about what happened afterwards. Is it true you were working for Fatty Walsh? I see word gets around. But I've got my own word of advice. If I were you, I'd stop asking those sorts of questions before things get unpleasant. Oh, is that a threat? This is exciting. Are you threatening me? Bill, knock it off. Yes, I am. And in addition, I'm also doing this. Oh, my head. Well, I suppose I've woken up in worse spots than this before. Hmm, what's that over there on the wall? Coral Gables, the Golden Galleon. Huh, the days when I was an upstart kid who was gonna make something of himself and restore the family name. Look where that got me. Ah, forget it. Life's too short to hold grudges. After all, if it hadn't been for Merrick, I'd probably be panhandling in Bryant Park right now. Might as well go see how the old bird is doing these days. Can't possibly be worse off than me. This place hasn't changed one bit. At least something from the old days is still around. Alfie Banks? What on earth are you doing here? Mrs. Merrick, I know it's been a while and I'm sorry. Ten years is much more than a while in my book, young man. In any case, I'm afraid you've picked a bad time to call. What's the matter? It's George, that stubborn fool. He's gonna get himself killed. Killed? How? You mean you haven't heard? There's a hurricane coming. They're saying it might be as bad as the one in 26. It's set to pass through the Keys tomorrow afternoon. So, why hasn't anyone prepared here? Because it's not expected to come this far north. Then there's something I'm not understanding. How exactly is George in danger? We've been living down in Matacumbe Key for the past few years. George opened up a fishing club and we've been running it together ever since he was ousted from the city commission. 
When he heard the hurricane was coming, he sent me up here and refused to budge. He said he wasn't going to let his dream die twice. That's crazy! We have to get him out of there! I'm afraid there isn't much that can be done. They've stopped all the trains going south. There has to be a way. Don't worry, ladies. I'll get George back here safely. I owe him that much, at least. Please be careful, Alfie. And good luck. Begging your pardon, sir. What can I do for you? Didn't you used to be a guard at the Dinner Key Marina? Yes, I did. Until I got fired for letting some jerk steal a part from a hydroplane. Took me years to be able to convince anyone to hire me back. Oh. Uh, sorry to hear that. When does the next train leave? It doesn't. What? Well, haven't you heard? There's a hurricane set to strike the keys. Yes, I have, actually. Well, then you should know that all the trains have been cancelled. You don't understand. It's of the utmost importance that I get down to the keys. I do understand. And I'm afraid you're out of luck, friend. There's only one train going down there, and it's not for passengers. Why not? Because it's being sent to evacuate the WPA construction workers who haven't left yet. If you need to take a fishing trip, I suggest you wait a few days. There's something important we need to discuss. Is there? Do tell. Look, friend. It's extremely important I get on that train. I have official business in the Keys, and I need to get down there as soon as possible. Official business? Who would schedule anything with a hurricane about to strike? You'd be surprised. Some of us can't get a break. Well, I hear you there. My bosses have been giving me nothing but a hard time for years. But I still don't see why I should let you on this train. A man might die if I don't go down and save him. Can you really live with that on your conscience? And if I let you go down there, you might get yourself killed too. And then I'd have two deaths on my conscience. So unless you give me an extraordinary reason, you're not getting on this train. I need to save George Merrick. He's in danger. Merrick? The Coral Gables guy? What's he doing down there? He's been running a fishing club, but he's insisted on staying behind. Please, you don't know him like I do. He's very stubborn and passionate. If I don't go down there, he won't budge and he'll probably die. Well, fine. I don't know why I'm doing this, but go ahead and get on. But if anyone asks, you don't tell them I let you on board. Deal. Ah, can't see a thing. We should be well on our way. Now I just need to find a way out of this car. The storm seems to have made landfall already. Horse feathers! Sticking around back here probably isn't the best idea. I should head towards the front of the train. What? Who are you? What are you doing on this train? The name's Banks. I snuck on board because I need to get to the keys. You're crazy. What were you thinking? I thought this train was meant to be taking supplies down there. It was, but the people who sent it underestimated the power of the storm. We're only going forward because there's no way to turn back. The train is already starting to come apart. You're lucky it came up here when you did. I was just about to detach the locomotive. But why? Because if even one car gets blown off the tracks, the rest of the train will too. It's not worth- Damn it! I was afraid this would happen. If we don't equalize the pressure in this car, in the next few minutes it'll come apart. Help me get one of these windows open, would ya? What are you doing? That door goes into the open air! If you open it before we stabilize the pressure in here, we're done for!
good going, thanks. Now let's get to the locomotive so we can detach the train. Otherwise, we'll be swept off the tracks along with the rest of it. The wind seemed to have died down slightly. We must be entering the eye of the storm. Or maybe not. I'd better find George. There isn't much time. George, open this door right now! Alfie Banks? I have to admit, you were the last person I expected to see walking through that door. What brings you to my little club? I came to get you, George. In case you weren't aware, there's a huge hurricane on its way. I am well aware, yes. In fact, I sent Eunice away because of it. I know. She's the one who told me where I could find you. I see. I have to confess, I don't fully understand why you've come. But as long as you're here, go ahead and have a seat. I haven't got time to talk. We have to leave. I insist. Besides, I'm not going anywhere. George? Yes? I know we didn't part on the best of terms the last time we saw each other. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I was young and stupid. I thought the world owed me. Apology accepted, Alfie. We've all been there. So, now that we've got that out of the way, what else is on your mind? So. What have you been doing with yourself the past few years? Well, I'm sure you heard about the bust. Coral Gables went bankrupt, and I was forced to step down from the commission. I always enjoyed it down here in the Keys, and Eunice's family just happened to own this property. So we came down here and opened up the fishing club. It's been a much quieter life than I'm used to, but I can't complain. I suppose I had my time to shine. Couldn't the others have done something for you? What about Doc? I assume you didn't hear that Doc passed away five years ago. No, I didn't. Huh. Did you know this hurricane was coming? I had heard, yes. The weatherman had been talking about it on the radio the past few days. They seem to take them a bit more seriously down here in the Keys. Why haven't you evacuated? Ever heard the old saying, the captain always goes down with his ship? I never abandoned Coral Gables. I see no reason why I should abandon the Caribbean Club. Coral Gables was lucky. It didn't get the worst of the hurricane in 26. You're right in the path of this one. That may be, but I think I've taken sufficient precautions. George, we need to leave. Isn't there any way I can convince you? You did a pretty good job of convincing plenty of other people in the old days. I'm not opposed to hearing what you have to say. So Alfie, why is it so important we go back? Coral Gables needs you back, George. It's just not the same without you. Oh, I hardly think that's true. Coral Gables has been fine without me the past few years. We had our moment in the sun. It's time for a new generation to take over. There's still so much left to do in Coral Gables. You can't just give up now. Oh, really? This is an interesting change of attitude. Didn't you give up on Coral Gables when you decided to work for Tom Walsh? I saw the way things were headed and decided to go for a more lucrative opportunity. For which I can hardly blame you, but I just wish you hadn't jumped ship so soon. What else was I supposed to do? Drown with the rats? I don't share your optimism, George. I still can't understand how you never felt tempted to just give up yourself. Who says I didn't? Do you think you're the only one who saw what was going on? The Depression came to Coral Gables years before the rest of the country. There were days when I thought about packing it all in. I knew when the bubble had burst, but I worked too hard to just give everything up. I stayed until they threw me out. I... I didn't know that. I thought you were just naive. We all have our bad days, Alfie. Sometimes it's bad weeks, or even months. But what's important above all else is sticking to your principles. I understand what you're saying, George. But times have changed. Principles are important, surely, but the depression and lack of money is all anyone thinks about. You made the city beautiful, sparing no expense, making it all about the aesthetics. 
But think about the value of that city in the current economic climate. Someone in charge wouldn't think twice about tearing down the Biltmore to sell the land if it meant a profit. And all the work we did, all the sacrifices people made, will have meant nothing. I hadn't even considered that possibility. I can't in good conscience allow something like that to happen. It seems living down here all these years has made me a bit out of touch. All right, Alfie. As soon as this storm passes, we'll take the first train back to Miami so I can assess the situation myself. Thank you for helping me see things a bit more clearly. I think I'm the one who should be thanking you for that, George. Right. Let's get a move on. We should be careful. It sounds like the storm has gotten stronger. George, this building is coming apart. We haven't got any time to lose. We need to get someplace safer. When we get out there, we need to head directly for the shelter south of here. Just follow me, and we'll be there in no time. Right behind you. George, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! Ladies and gentlemen, today we remember a very special man whose life was unfortunately cut short. Alfie Banks was someone who wasn't afraid to speak his mind. In fact, he certainly gave me a piece of it one of the last times I spoke with him. However, at heart he was a kind soul. Alfie cared about the well-being of others, even if they wronged him, and that takes class. Alfie didn't need to apologize to me for the falling out we had so many years ago, but he did. And that meant more to me than anyone could ever know. In the time I knew and worked with him, Alfie always showed an immense amount of initiative, which makes it no surprise that he achieved as much as he did. Despite harder times in his last few years, he showed in the end that he was a good man. I would not be here speaking to you right now if it weren't for him. Not only do I owe my life to him, but my livelihood as well, though I may not have expressed it as clearly as I should have. Alfie was instrumental in the success of Coral Gables. I'm sure he knew that. And though he was taken from us far too soon, Alfie's legacy will live on in the streets and buildings of this city. Because, just like the galleon which came to be the symbol of Coral Gables, Alfie sailed through all our lives, leaving behind a golden wake.